The thing that gets me about this image is that it's called IR Izumi Reza. I haven't turned on the song. Fuck. Um, but another thing I want to point out is is the art style here. Um, let's jump back a bit. Um, like something about this art style gets me. Like it's a very it's one of the more crystal clear, straightforward images that's around in this game. It's like, what's going on? Who's what? what? It's such... Like, ah! Oh! It's one of those pictures that's like, hmm, big old questions. Anyway, I gotta turn on the song. I, I don't know what I'm gonna turn on. How about Forge? We haven't listened to that one in a while. Sure, why not? Oh, Reza, never shoot someone if they ask for it. They'll only become stronger! I don't know which ending is the one where Reza shoots more than six bullets. I wish I did. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, this is great. So, it immediately registered Azumi as scene. That's nice. Kind of a big deal that you A know Izumi's name and B know, you know. Just, you know what I still think, I still feel about this is the true ending and the true secret ending. Those should have unlocked stuff. Like, again, the whole game is about you can play a game again and it can have consequences. Why didn't it take that to the logical extreme of, like, once you get the secret ending, like, something, some weird things start to happen. Like, you can get good endings that are other, I don't know, like, it could be cheap and straightforward and it could be very sloppily written, but it makes sense. It'll be great. Because it's like, if you play it again as, as, a, as a champion, like, everything is wrong now. Like, this timeline doesn't make sense, and it's going too far. Like, people remember things too clearly, and everything just doesn't add up anymore. Like, Reza's like, what the- I'm gonna die in a few moments, aren't I? And he just kind of stands there, unknowing what to do. And Maverick, too, is like, wait, what? <laughs> like, you could do so much cool with that. Like, I know that's not the point. Like, this game steps back before it crosses the line of, of madness, which is important. You, you, you've got to establish if you're gonna go there or not, but- <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, which Izumi is this one? This is Izumi Injured 2. Oh, okay, so she's not dead. It's kind of neat that Izumi either dies or not, depending on whatever or not her face is down. Kind of cool she has these thick boots. So that, you know, kind of makes sense. She makes through the, the mark. The fact she wears this weird mask, I don't get. Like, the mask apparently is held in place somehow. It's never explained. Does it pinch her nose or something? But yeah, we got brown hair to Zoomy. Man, those hair colors. Like, one of them is so clearly, like, how young is Zoomy? And how old is she getting over the course of this? Like, the fact that her hair is this... This goddamn just pale says a lot to me. Also, this piece is impressive. One thing I gotta say is that Azumi kind of looks very flat. Like, there's not a lot going on back here, so she looks pretty flat. Maybe it makes sense, though. But this part, like, it looks like it's slanting downwards instead of being a logical bump. But that's the hard part of shading! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. So what was the good ending again? Oh, a bit ahead. Oh wow, that's an interesting part to do it. I'm. I'm really surprised that Maverick waited as long as he did. Shouldn't Maverick, as a police officer, step into action the minute he trains the gun on on Izumi? Man, I can't imagine this. The fact that Reza is screaming is kind of weird. Because Reza, more often than not, comes across as this very, uh... I don't know, he feels cooler. Uh, more more restrained than this. Did 
This is just... Like... The, the thing that gets me about this is that he manages to make this fucking shot. This is a hard shot to pull off! This is rolling a 20 when you're grappling. It doesn't make sense. It's like everyone gets angry over that. Man. The fact that he has more ammo with him. That's, that's also kind of a weird part. Like, he just has... Like, everyone seems to have hammer space on them all the time. And the whole, like, he, he just shoots at you. And, and I don't know... It, like, feels at that point that he has enough control of the situation that he could argue or something. Like, Reza doesn't seem the kind of person to just get revenge. Like, he already killed Maverick, which is, like, his biggest spiel. Eh. Ah, oh, this needs to be different. I made some spaghetti tonight. It was delicious. It was way too much. Luckily, I haven't eaten much today, so... Win for me, I guess! I'm glad that there's no, uh, no sound for this. The thing is, you're more likely to die from the from asphyxiation during a fire than the actual fire. Like, surprisingly, your body doesn't give a shit if the skin gets fucked up. That's what the skin is for. But fire is filled with chemicals that fuck you up. The smoke, the, the stuff that's actually on fire is just de devastating. Like, shock and all that kind of shit is more important. You'll eventually get boiled alive, but you'll probably be unconscious by then. And in so much pain. That's why napalm is such a shit weapon. Sure, you'll burn a whole forest down, but it's painful and slow and not in any way effective at killing people. And the people that come out, they're pissed as fuck. Like, you're not gonna make friends if those people start saying it. Man, wow, they think that's okay. Ugh. Like, napalm is just like sticky burning glue. That's why it's so painful. It just sticks to you. That's why I say you shouldn't wear certain types of clothes. It fires, mess you up, it melts, and gets stuck. This is... this is such a terrible ending. Anna gets shot, Maverick is executed, Reza just gets set on fucking fire! Holy shit, this ending! Also, not only is he burnt, he also has a giant bite mark on him! Also, those are... That's a... that's... I don't know. Burn, that's really hard to pull off. Also, wouldn't his sleeves have fallen down? Like, I know this is the easy, cheap way of doing it, but... Wouldn't his sleeves have, like, fallen to his wrist or something. Also, how is he on the... Oh, man. 
I do appreciate that they actually got the detail of like your hair is burnt off. His skin is burnt off. What the hell kind of liquid is this, Anna? Man, like this ending! Wow! Man, I like how the player character just gets to walk a fucking way. Wee! I didn't get burnt alive, shot in the head, or shot in a place where I don't die. The fact that, like, Reza has to be burning for like a minute or so, right? Imagine sitting in a room for a minute and someone is crying for his fucking life. The player character is scarred by this. This is not an ending where the player character should be going out. At this point, your character's like, I think I'm going to just kill myself. Azumi, you take it from here. I, I don't think I want... Listen, I'm the kind of person who has very, very violent tendencies. Don't worry. I got them under control. But sometimes, I'm perfectly fine with the idea of tearing apart a baby. And just looking at the guts. But even I'm like, if I were to sit through this... I think I'd, I think I'd just give up on life. Because, ooh, ooh. There's a difference between, like, like, the thing about, you have to imagine is, if someone's screaming in torture, I know, yeah, this is where we're going. If someone is screaming in torture, there's a degree of control you have. Someone that's on fire, you do not have control over at all. The damage, um, to put it out is difficult. You're dealing with one fucking fucked up situation. If, if you're sitting across someone who's on fire, unable to put it out, it's just in agony as he can't get up. The fact that Anna does this. And, and, and doesn't seem to give a fuck, should just indicate that she doesn't care about anyone. You, maybe. Maybe she just wanted to see if she could catch a bullet and live. I don't know. It just feels super fucking dumb. You've done autopsies before. You're a doctor in pharmacy, Anna! Why the hell are you doing autopsies? They're specialists for that! Also, how can you know? Dragons don't have guns! How could you have the information to know how a deadly gunshot works? You could estimate where you're hit, yes, but I doubt dragons have advanced knowledge on, like, impalement. Like that. Unless they have, like, a lot of spiked tail creatures. In that case, I somewhat understand, but bullets work very differently for most weapons. So, the thing with an arrow is an arrow stays inside of you and sort of clogs the wound. A bullet's whole point is to tear things to sunders and leave, and go as deep as it can. Most weapons don't go that deep, or, or cut in that way, and when they do, they're generally fucking you up in ways that makes more that's more significant than just organ damage. Like... <sighs> ugh. Like this, again, is like, I don't know... Something about this feels so, so fucking shallow. Like... There's, there's a reason she's doing it. Like, maybe she just wants to be like, I want to die a hero, at least. I want people to at least feel like fucking... Like, I feel that the only reason she did it is because she wants everyone else to feel like a dirtbag. She's like, I die now, and you all get to feel like shit. Because you didn't help me or something, I don't know. Yeah, I imagine that if someone's been bleeding out for a minute, like if considering that she's been shot at least once, I'm I'm pretty pretty sure that Anna's not in the position to, to be doing much. Let's see, how bad is the injuries? It's it's E, right? It's kind of goofy that this one exists and like the whole stuff's one. Yeah. Also, uh, what I think the main damage here is is this wound. That wound, odds are, has hit her directly in the, uh... If she's hit in the throat and blood is going down her lungs, she'd be drowning at this point. She can't talk. Like, she's not hitting the spine, because the spine is back there. If she's hit in the esophagus, that's not as bad as you think it is. And if she's hit in the throat, she can't talk because there's no fucking pressure! Or she talks like... <laughs> with a very guttural tone. I feel this thing is taking a lot of, of, of like... Y you could just do something like... she's. 
You could do something like a spleen hit. I don't know. It just... <sighs> or hit her aorta. The aorta is a great organ to shoot at. It's a, it's actually a vein or I don't know what artery you're finding. I don't I don't give a shit. The one of them is hit. Changing the text a little bit, it's a minor tweak, it's like, don't bother, if I'm correct, these 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 hits are fatal. It's a little bit more, like, a logical assumption than, if, if based on where he hit me. This feels a little too, like, imagine you're fucking dying from blood loss. You're, you're, you're starting to get, like, wherever she's hit, she's gonna start feeling woozy after, considering that Rizik must have burned like a minute, she's woozy at this point, at the very least. Like, she's not thinking as crystal clear as before. She's not gonna say, based on where she hit me, he's gonna be like, ah, if I'm right, this, ugh. I don't know, I think this is the time most people just get sassy. Like, live up your last few minutes, man! If you get the chance to have final words, ham it up! Put that ham in! Make that ham sandwich! I don't care if you're a Muslim, make that ham fucking sandwich! This is your one time you get to do it! I don't care if you're a Jew. This is the perfect time to make a ham sandwich, boy. Ham it up! Put a whole fucking ham with the bone on top and put it between two sandwiches! The ham is way too big for the sandwiches! But who's gonna care? You're about to die! Everyone has to take you seriously, whatever they want to or not! This is your one time to tell people to fuck off, and there's nothing they can do about it. What is an autopsy? I think it's the same thing, autopsy. Obduxy? Fucking abduction? Oh, cool. Yeah, that's the kind of word she'd probably use, because it's like an obscure word I've never heard of. Like, yeah, it's... it's... I change this a bit again, like, you saved my life, Anna. Why? Since when are you like this? Like, why did you do it doesn't cap- Like, I'm doing this because it doesn't capture the feeling. Like, why would Anna give a shit about someone else, is the question, not why did you do it? Like, clearly she did it to save your fucking life, you dipshit, but when is she the kind of person to do that? This is like a chaotic evil person, like, being like, I will shave the queen! And, like, not also be issuing a, a, a kidnapping order or something with it. Anna is dead- What? Why is this a specific variable? That's a very unusually specific variable. Let's... No. I don't want to go to video packs. I don't want to go to Mroop. Mroop is the bad folder! <laughs> no. So that's what it... Re yeah, okay, that makes sense. But... But... Like... There's no, there's nothing that matters. Anna's gonna be dead here anyway, and this is the ending. It's gonna reset. Why is, is this a weird place to set that variable?
uh, she's got a fair point, but I don't think Anna's the kind of person to talk about this. Like, Anna's, Anna talking about the sanctity and, like, the whole, the concept, life feels kind of stupid. Anna hams it the fuck up the whole time. That makes her valid, yes, but she's not the kind of person to be talking about the nature of what it means to keep someone alive. I don't think she's the kind of person to, to have this extended discussion on the nature of preserving someone's life. Because she probably would just kill anyone she could for no reason. Chaotic evil. I just love at this point that I just I love this I just I need to look this up in a minute but I love the fact that Izumi Maverick all that and the, and the administrator's like well technically didn't you win oh this is interesting you know her name Oh, I love this. Okay, so this I'm going to leave for next time. This is one of the endings where Izumi says, you know what, we've actually technically won. And you're like, but no, we didn't. And then and she's like, well, we have. I love this. I love this so much. Ugh. This is, like, again, it, it's kind of like, oh, Anna, you'd save... No. Anna doesn't care about saving anyone. She saves you for, like, again, probably the most selfish reasons, because you're, like, the one person who would advocate. Like, I just can't help but feel that she did this for herself. I know that, that alignments are something that can shift. Someone can change their quintessence of nature. Um, but I feel Anna hasn't really done anything to deserve it. I feel like there should have been another date. Like, there should have been a chapter 5 with most characters that sort of extrapolates on their personality and explains what's happened. Like, this is the good ending change-along section. Where, where Anna, like, turns around, and, and, and you're like, okay, you're a good person, I guess. Remy's an asshole, Rice is an asshole, Anna's an asshole, Lorm's just kind of there, Ipsum is an asshole, um, and then there's Adin, who's nice, a and that's it, I guess. <laughs> I think that this should have been, like, a little bit more... You know what I, I really feel is that more stories should have this moment where, like, a character that's dying is actually getting fucking woozy. And they're like, eh. Like, they're, they get their last words. They get this, just make it count. And then they're like, man, did you ever think about, like, video games? Like, I know that kind of degrades characters, but it also shows their humanity in, like, the most worst way possible. Like, on their deathbed, their final words are dumb. That's how vulnerable they are. That's how human they are. That's how much they're meat bodies. And the fact that the last word is your name, that's a good one. That's a... Mm, that's a... Mm, mwah, mwah, artistic. That's a very good nuance. Because the last word they say can be anything. Make it something count. Like, she could, it could have been her, her own name. Like, she's like, tell the world, Anna, bleh. Like, you know, that kind of stuff. So, again... People say, Anna wants to save other people. She wants to cure... No. The fact that she starts off for myself, and who knows how many others. She doesn't care. She doesn't even... She doesn't even... She doesn't care. Like, who knows how many others. I don't care. She doesn't care. Again, it's all incidental to her. I need to look up exactly when Anna starts mentioning cancer and her, her research, but it, it's kind of implied she doesn't give a shit. Oh, uh, let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Translation work. This video has been going on for... for I just realized I never made the cut. Ah! Well, yeah, chapter four. She's not like this is what I did and why I did it. I think the reason she started taking cancer is... So, here's the thing. It's it's never... I don't think it's ever truly explained what this is. 
Yeah, so like, she's doing it for herself. She doesn't care about the awards and the recognition, I guess. Like, she only cares about herself and her ego. She, she's the bad guy who, who wants to invent the ultimate ultimate power weapon because she can, not because it's in any way something someone should do. I just love this, of like, she gets it some point during this. Interesting that here it uses the proper ellipses. I like how she also goes for the illegal one. It's like similar to Remy fucking it up. It's like, ah, oh, man. Like, the way she phrases it, it just feels like she's doing it for herself, and then it's just for herself again. Changing it a little bit, like, it feels a little bit more like, for me, and who knows who else. It, it captures the feeling. Especially with, like, uh, the way, I don't know. It's, it's a hard way to phrase it. So, at this point, the administrator has been sitting on the ground, bleeding for a while. Oh, yeah, Zumi doesn't have any pictures, does she? Yeah. Oh, that's it! Oh, that's awesome! Okay, so this sets Izumi's picture, but you can still just have show and, and slide her around without having to define which Izumi it is. That is awesome. So what do you do? Do you kill her? <laughs> yeah, like, this is a key point, is Izumi's kind of a dick. And I think that's why she and Reza, like, kind of, like, the collaboration falls apart. Is they, they, they are similar, but they clearly are so much for themselves that it doesn't work. Ah, oh, there we go! That's awesome. And that is repeated, like, every time you come back around the bad end, Izumi has that cut. That's awesome! Tiny detail, hugely powerful. It really sells you, because you might get back here, having fucked up. I don't know. You might never come back here. I don't know if it counts for the 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 the, the squeak wool, but also I I don't care if I ever make anything and it, and it's gonna be called the sequel. I will I will I will punch someone to make sure it's called the squeak wool. I want it to be called the squeak wool. It is the squeak wool. Oh, cool. The administrator just dies here. Makes sense. Yeah, like, uh, so here's the thing to remember, is, so, try to think about this, Reza's dead, Anna's dead, Maverick's dead, Azumi is alive, and at this point, she can probably, maybe, talk together to get the dragons to save themselves? Like, she's won! There's nothing that stops her from technically having won at this point. Why is she being a bitch to you? Why would she be against that? You trying again. Like, couldn't she be like, yeah, you can just, you can keep going. 
or about Anna. I love this. I love Ozumi's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, you've won, and your character's still being an ass. It's great. Wow, the fire has just stopped. The fact that you know Izumi's name, even though I don't think she ever mentions it any other time, implies that Anna's bad ending, by definition, is a loop of some sorts. This is the bad ending. I don't think she ever names herself Izumi. Does she mention this in the, um... In the chapter 4 showdown hoedown? Nope. You are never told this. You just somehow know this. I need to poop. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay, this is curious. Are they building up a battery? Dragons don't have batteries. They have an infinite power source that does not require recharging or waiting. Why would they not have battery technology? I reject this outcome and substitute it with my shut up. Just smack. This ending feels clumsy. We're gonna have a long, fun chat about that one later. But for now, enjoy your evening. Or Saturday. Or whatever. I don't care what day it is. I don't care if you live in Timbuktu and you're celebrating Hunky Dory Day. Have a day with it.